Hello everyone! Uh, until now we don't see any 3D object in OpenGL actually, although we create a triangle and we rotate it, but that wasn't really 3D because uh, it hasn't death, uh, so it wasn't have a death. So I think today we're gonna make a cube. Okay, I make a function for that. I'm not sure that will I make it a separate tutorial or a right to the beginning of another tutorial. So I call it draw cube and it with a float size. Alright, so in here we just draw a, a cube. The cube will contain quads. So uh, quad for each face. Okay, so first of all, use the GL begin. GL quad because it will contain quads, and we need the GL end. Okay, and in here we have to define the faces. So first of all, define the first face. Uh, it's kind of help if you can imagine. 3D uh, scene uh, without drawing, but if you can, then draw it, and it will be obvious why we do what we do. Okay, uh, we start from the center of the cube, and we draw each face from face from there. This is important because if we want to move, we basically move the center point of the cube, and we can rotate the center of the cube. Uh, yes, that's why we uh, start from the center. So, for example, start with the fir uh, so the front face. Fr uh, front face, I mean, which is the which is seems to uh, face toward us. So the closer uh, plane quad. Okay, so I just start with the right upper front corner. So I use the GL vertex 3F. Now we use the, the all three dimensions. Okay, so X dimension is size uh, divided by 2. Uh, size divided by 2 because we start from the uh, center of the cube and size is the size of, of the, so the length of the cube. Uh, you know. So. Uh, uh, that's where we uh, said that we want to go to the right corner of the cube. Now we want to go up, so I use size divided by 2 again. And in here I want to size divided by 2 because because we want to go to the front of the cube. So in this case, all of the all of them is positive. By the way, in this case, we always just play with the negative and positive values to give the result we want, because all of the sides of the cube is the same size. Okay, so the next vertex will be the left upper and front corner. So GL vertex 3F. Okay, in here. Uh, you give minus size divided by 2 uh, then size divided by 2 and size divided by 2 so basically we go uh, uh, to the left upper front corner so which uh, face to us okay and we need two more vertex so gl vertex 3f now we go to the left because I want to go to the left or down corner, which is front, so size divided by 2. Uh, I want to go down, size divided by 2, uh, minus size divided by 2, because I want to go down. And I want to go to the front, so size divided by 2. So basically that's about it. I think I will cut the other one because uh, it is a little boring to do that and probably it is clear why we do that. So I will come back when I finish. Okay, I finished all of the faces. I put a little comment what face is it. <laughs> so again, if you do not understand why I use 
uh, the values what I use draw it to a paper and it will be clear okay so uh, I draw all of the faces all six and uh, I think we should give a color to each one so we can see what's going on so I use the GL color 3F as we always do so this will be red color then the next one will be uh, blue color the next one will be oh this will be the blue well green so what so this was green and this is blue okay and give another one so I just give color all of them so we can see them uh, uh, so good okay and uh, and one more thing is left this is in the init function we should enable the death testing use the gl enable okay uh, by the way uh, i think i haven't mentioned the gl enable uh, OpenGL has several, if I remember well, 50 or more functions, so properties or what should I call these, uh, which you can turn on and turn off. One of them is the death test. So GL death test. Okay, GL death test basically means we use the death buffer bef uh, before we draw it. It means that every pixel on the screen has a buffer, so basically an array. Uh, for every single pixel uh, there is a volume yeah, that's correct so there is a volume and uh, which contain the depth from the eye point and we only draw something if it has less depth than the volume uh, which is already in the depth buffer so basically we check first that is it closer and so then if we draw uh, then when then we draw as we do not draw because why would we want to draw it okay so we enable the death testing you can turn it off by gl disable uh, this is uh, turned off by default okay and uh, and yes uh, one more thing for the dev buffer we have to always clear the dev buffer similarly then we do the screen so the color buffer okay so gl death buffer bit so we use the uh, binary or operator to delete uh, both uh, you can call gl clear twice but but that may be less performance so that may give less performance than this solution okay so i think to actually see the cube we have to rotate it because uh, as we do not really see so gl rotate f and we rotate it by angle uh, uh, if you may remember we define an angle here which is a global variable and increase in here by the way if angle is greater than six, uh, uh, 360 then we just uh, subtract 360 from that uh, it doesn't uh, change the actual angle because that will be the same uh, just we uh, don't get so much numbers because we run out for numbers okay so uh, we uh, rotate it uh, by angle degrees in all of the axis by the way I think I haven't mentioned you can give more uh, or you can give two in here that basically mean twice of the angle I think so so I it is mean that we rotate both X Y and Z axis uh, by angle degrees okay uh, you uh, so you should remember then for if you want to rotate in a place then you first do the rotate and then the translate if you want to rotate in a big circle like the planet uh, in orbit of the sun then 
you first rotate it and then translate it. Okay, so now we draw the cube with the draw cube function. Okay, that's it. So, okay, uh, I think we can uh, now compile it. Okay, it's compiled and run it. And here is the result. Uh, we use different colors so it can be easily seen uh, what part uh, so the different faces and we rotate it so basically that's our first 3d object uh, the main reason I made this is because of the lighting which will come the next tutorial probably because uh, it gets quite long tutorial so I think that uh, it will stay an own tutorial and then the next one uh, will be uh, so yeah the next one will be the light tutorial so that's about it thank you for watching and as always have a great day